What's good guys, it's Tyler back, GK Gold Remy. So this is going to be a game analysis of my second round of the US Open Cup qualifications. And for anybody that missed the first round, we went through on PKs, but I'll put a link to the video here. Bunch of good learning points from that match as well. So definitely check that out. So here's my first action of the game. Just a little back pass right here. Got a lot of time on the ball, just trying to find a hole in the defense. Finally find it, a little clipped in ball. So right here, I'm really just trying to get this defender to turn and play to his man on his right. And definitely we would have had some options going forward here, but you just can't control that pass. A little bit of heat on it, but we maintain possession. Once again, just another long ball coming back to me, a little back pass. Take a touch forward, quickly find a man. And then here you can see I pass it and then I show because I see where the pressure is coming from. So I'm just showing farther out of my goal just so when he passes back to me, I get a bit more time on the ball. Here you can see I want to go wide. You see a man out there. So I wanted him a bit wider. So maybe I could clip this ball all the way across the field would be a bit dangerous because obviously no one's in there to protect the goal in case I mishit it. Instead, go long and barely just miss my man right here. Almost get a perfect ball in, but we're still able to maintain possession in our attacking third. So here, they're just throwing a little through ball in. Decent ball gets on the end of it, sharp angle. So right here, I'm covering the cutback ball and I'm not set in the best position. I really should be even with the post here. Instead, you can see I'm kind of like half a yard in front of it. And the reason you want to be even with the post is because where I am now doesn't really help me cut down the angle at all. All it does is it's going to make it take longer for me to cover back in the goal in case maybe there's a cutback ball played across that I can't just claim myself. But no one's really in the area, plays it in right to me. Just going to bowl this out wide. We got plenty of time. Here, they're just going to play a long ball in. Like usual, pretty high off my line. No one really threatening coming in. Looking deep at first, but just decide to play it short. Here we got a ball just kind of stuck in the midfield. They're going to end up coming back home to me eventually. And then here you can see pointing. I want my defenders to show wide just like he's doing here. Give me some options. Easy man just shows right down the middle. I love when midfielders show for these types of balls where you can just play them. They can just turn. And obviously you'd rather have a midfielder with the ball at your feet than a goalkeeper in most situations. And we get a really nice little through ball here. Keeper caught out. No man's land. Easy goal. Go up 1-0. So here's my first touch after the goal. Obviously, any times you score, usually you want to slow the pace down a little bit right away. Make sure you don't give up a cheap goal and you want to maintain possession. Let the other team start chasing a bit because they're going to want to start pressuring up a bit more. Once again, just long ball comes back. Got plenty of time. Just a little one touch pass out. Don't need to put a ton of weight on those balls. And again, just possessing in the back. This field is huge. We're going to have a lot of space to be playing all night. Just one touch pass out to my left. He ends up giving it back right here. And again, not under a lot of pressure. Looking long at first, and decide to pull it back for a second and then find a little hole right in the midfield. Here's just long ball back. Not the best ball back, but obviously something that I can deal with. And then right here, I just play a really bad ball. Right here, instead of opening up and playing this with my right, I should definitely just play this with my left so it can curl into the defender. Because you see, I kind of play this behind my defender. And this is what you don't want. This is why you always want to put it on their front foot. You see how his back is facing the field. He can't really see clearly what's going on now. He has a man open on the far right, but it's going to be hard to see with his back facing the field, which is my fault. Luckily, he had time to turn around. Just kind of play a ball up that I think we get a little bit lucky getting underneath. Here, they're just in our defensive third. Tries clipping a ball in. See it all the way. Just come and claim that. Make sure to call off my defenders so they know not to come out and get hit. So here, they're just going to be going long again. It's going to be a common theme for them. And my defender here kind of stitches me with this ball. Would like something much better. You can see the way that pops up right when it's coming to me. I actually thought at first I might miss to judge this one. And I just tried to loft it back over where the ball came from. I see a lot of space over there. Really just trying to touch it into that open space where we have some players. And then we are able to get underneath of it. Here's a goal kick. I'm kind of looking for some more mid-range options right here. But nothing really shows. Just play it short. Been confident doing it so far this match. And right here, ball just comes back to me. Little easy touch. Just going to keep this short. Because obviously, if we're not under pressure, there's no reason to go long unless you have a counter opportunity or something. We're up 1-0. Early in the game, we've had a lot of the ball. We have no issue just passing it around on this massive field. Here, they're just going to try another long ball again. Defender does a really good job getting under this. I'm kind of just dropping back into my box right here. I'm calling for him to head this to me. So I know he's going to play it back to me. He knows he's going to play it back to me. Also, the striker knows he's going to play it back to me. So maybe here I could be a little bit higher up, but 
I kind of like staying back so then in case he misheads it, maybe puts it a little long, it doesn't go over my head or anything, but easily able to come get that one, play it out short, and then we just maintain possession in the back. Little score time update, 1-0. 28th minutes and then right here I don't even know how this whole play works out this is just really scrappy not the best soccer football whatever you want to call it but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter because we go up 2-0 so here just possession again up 2-0 looking pretty good so far Defender comes back, plays me a ball. So right here, I should already be peeking up and looking towards my right right here because I do have a man open that you can see kind of leaking out. Don't even look at him. This would have been a great option to play out of, but I'm really more focused on what's going on on my side of the field, which is something I've been trying to work on a bit more, but do end up finding a good little outlet pass that then we're able to slowly build out of the back with. I think we end up winning a throw-in. Here, kind of weird camera work. I'm just making contact with the ball now as it pans over. Probably should just play this short because we have numbers on the side, but 17 on the right is just so open. I'm very confident playing these types of balls in and somehow just completely hook this thing to the inside. That's a really, really bad ball to be playing. Luckily, they try a little ambitious shot from pretty deep. That's not really going to trouble me. And yeah, right here you can see a little bit annoyed. So. When I hold the ball with my feet right there, this isn't just to waste time. This also, you can see how this sucks in. This one attacker comes all the way in, which usually means that where he comes from, he's going to be leaving a man open. Just end up bowling it out. This, midfiel ugh, this midfielder ends up making a good move. I think we want to throw in off of this or a foul. So 2-0, half is winding down. Keeper just gets caught out. That's a bit of a shame, but definitely stay home on that one. Let your defenders deal with that. There's no reason to come out. And here's just the kickoff following that goal. This is literally the last kick of the game. So huge goal for us to get to go up 3-0. We have to screw up pretty badly to give this one up. So right here, pretty dangerous free kick. I put two in the wall because I'm really just worried about that low driven ball kind of coming across, flashing right in front of me that someone could get a toe on. Want to force him to play this in the air. And he does just clip one in. I'm coming out at the same time. I'm trying to maybe get the punch in. So on this situation, I'm actually calling keeper coming out right here so i've called it i'm gonna try to get in front of 32 which i quite don't get and i have zero issues with my defenders making these plays if i call keeper and i'm coming out and you're gonna be able to get a header that's out and a wide especially on those low driven balls go for it i'm just calling keeper in that situation just so that they know that not to get in my way but if you jump in front and head the ball out that's perfectly fine and then right here where they do they play a little lobbed ball in easy front smother Looking to my right, I'm just going to get slowly up, up 3-0. We're just going to take our time. Here's a little pass back. Going to look to switch the field. Easy again, the field's huge. Going to have so much time on the ball right now, and they're kind of get going to get stuck just trying to play these long balls in, which if you guys watch this channel, usually is not going to work out too well against my play style. So right here, just bring the ball down with my feet off the long ball, pick it up. And that's a big reason I like holding onto the ball. You can see it sucks in these two attackers right here. Should leave somebody open and it does a little bit deeper. I would like him to try to bring this ball down. He goes for a little flick and it's hard to see with that light, but I think it went out of bounds. Right here, us on the attack. Really good little slotted ball. Good little touch around the keeper. That's a good goal there. So now we're up 4-0. Not sure quite what the minute is. Oh, here just ball out wide. He's going to try and hit a cross in. Doesn't get a hold of it. Again, I'm just going to take my time. We're up 4-0. There's no reason to push anything. At these points in games when a team's up 4-0, all I really care about at this point is just getting the shutout. That's all I want. So here's a quick little goal kick. Because at this point, I'm not worried that we're going to lose this game. I just want to keep the shutout there. Just drop down, let it hit my chest. It's a big surface, so the ball's not going to go anywhere. And again, just waiting for this guy. He's going to come. I can pick up the ball, and it's pretty much the spot he came from. Easily just play it out. And now look how much farther he has to run back, and then it goes there. Then this guy has to run right here, and it's just its so tiring just chasing the ball like this. And this is exactly what we want. Here's his goal kick. I think they were pushing a little high, so I'm just going to look for someone out on the left. That's kind of similar to that ball I missed earlier. Goal kick again, find a nice little spot in the defense. I really like that ball. That's a really good ball right there. 
and then we almost get the quick counter off of it. So right here, I got a back pass coming all the way through. And then, so what I do right here is I know I want to hit this man that's just kind of showing up at the left of the screen, except there's not a great line just yet to play it to him since this defender right here is still kind of in the way. And also he wouldn't have any good options really to play the ball off of. So I'm just waiting for these players to start drifting, 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 and that's all I want. And then eventually it's going to form this hole right here. I can play it out. You can see this striker's already annoyed that no one's covering this. And because he's pressing me from that side, it's going to be wide open right here. And then we should be able to play out of this. I think something weird happens, though. Yeah, so we got the ball. This is still a good spot. And this pass right here, this is not a good pass at all. And luckily, I'm still kind of high off. I was dropping back to try to switch. And then I get a kind of awkward clearance just because... I don't really have anywhere to put my plant leg. You can see where I'm landing. I kind of kick this and then just have to go down or else I'm just going to run straight into this guy. Don't get a good clearance, although it's kind of not a good position to be in, but we're able to deal with it. So here's our fifth goal, and this is a good learning point for anybody. These high balls right here, you guys cannot let these hit the ground. Either stay on your line or come out and take this out of the air. But you see the goalkeeper right here. He's kind of trying to play the bounce. Our striker just runs in and heads it into the side net. I mean... It should be better. 5-0. I can't even do the math with the time right now. It's right here, a little pass back on my left foot. Don't get the best clearance, but honestly, it's with the left foot into space. We're able to get under it, so not the worst. So here's a free kick. Just put one in the wall. I'm not too worried about this free kick coming in, although there is a lot of space right here in front of goal that maybe he could try to drive something through. Usually I put a man kind of over into that space to cut out that type of ball. But here, ball comes in, out swinger. You can see I take a step. I'm thinking maybe I can come for this. And then right here, I'm like, okay, no, uh, there's no chance I'm getting this. And you don't really want to be put in this position. You want to make your decision first to where I just start dropping back instead of the step out. But I recognize it pretty early. It's also a pretty floated ball. So it's going to be hard for someone to get a really powerful header off of this. And then you see when it's about to be made contact, getting set. Still a little high of my line, but not in the worst position. And there, stinking to go with my hands, but just going to pick it up with my feet, force them to come press me, should open somebody up. Oh, decided to go long. Right here, kind of a high ball. This is it's a pretty good hit, though, because right here, all he has to do, this is our biggest player on the team, just flick this on, and he just almost gets a hold of it. Oh, is this still? Okay, I guess they come back down around. I thought the play was just going to die. Oh yeah, then he plays this back. Just gonna clip this out. Probably should go with my left foot there anyways, but still get a decent little ball out for us to get possession. Here, they try a pretty ambitious shot. I don't really know what the plan was for this. Not the worst hit. So this is something I like doing on these types of shots is where the goal is. I know this is going wide, but I kind of like the habit of just at least covering where the goal is just to make sure that there's no possible chance that I misread this and somehow it's dipping in. So I like doing that on those types of shots even though I was very confident that that was not going to find the goal. And here, just play it out short. Here, they're just going to try to play a little kind of long ball cross in. And so here, I should definitely be on the other side of this player. I can't tell if this camera just makes it look like he's closer to the ball than he actually was, or if this is a mistake by me and he should have punished me for it. But I think he overshot the ball a little bit. But here, you see I'm waiting behind him. You want to be cutting it out in front, but in the end, doesn't matter. Claim a ball right on top of my box. It's good, proactive goalkeeping. It's a style I like. And then once again, right here, you can see my starting position is really high off of this. I mean, I'm starting to creep like eight yards, nine yards off of my line just because I don't feel threatened at all that he's going to be able to somehow chip me from this. And he ends up playing it in. Come out. And I do this a lot is you always want to catch the ball at the highest point. You're taught this all the time. But when I feel that I have a really good kind of box out on somebody where it's not being threatened, I'll sometimes catch it more into my chest like this when I know I have the positioning just because it's easier to hold and it's going to be a little bit safer for me to hold that cleanly. Here, they're just trying to thread a little through ball in. Defender does well. He's trying to cut this across. So I'm just going to run this down. Like I said before, I just hold on to the ball. Again, not only to waste time, suck in an attacker, should free up some options to play on the back. So here, not quite there. So I look to my far left right here, and then I look to my right. I know already who I'm throwing this ball to. I'm throwing it to this guy that just got on screen. 
So I know exactly what I want to do. You see me look right here, but then I'm going to look the other way just to try to suck these guys in a little bit to this side of the field where you can see this guy's walking a little bit, other guys walking a little bit, let him get a couple steps and then immediately just turn, throw it over his head. And now we can switch the point of attack on this side of the field. Here, there's going long ball. Plays it back to me. Just going to hit that long. Wasn't really aiming for anything particular. Didn't get a great clearance off of that either. And then here, I think this was our last goal. Just going to put this in just because it's a rocket. Oh, that's a nice finish. 6-0, we got like five minutes left. So definitely going through to the third round, which is great because it means more meaningful minutes for me. Right here, just a little clipped ball out. Good little ball right there. It's so hard to see what's going on with that light. Oh, that was the end of the game. All right, yep, so 6-0, easy win for us, much easier than our first match where we went to penalties. And next week, I will be having the third round match analysis as well, so keep your eye out for that. Also, you guys check out goalremy.com, ton of gloves from Aviata, help support the channel. Till next time, peace. Run the city out in Kansas, slamping in the cut like bandits. I do damage, vandal handle me. These bosses cannot manage me. I am the king of canopy, so rumble in the jungle like a...